Good afternoon. Welcome to the webinar, How Cloud-Based Document Management Enables Employees' Mobility and Business Growth. My name is Robin Horner, and I'll host this DocuWare session. Everybody's being muted to the volume of people on the call, so if you have any questions, please type them into the GoToWebinar question box. Um, and also in the GoToWebinar control panel is the case study you can download on Rawlings Supporting Goods and how they use DocuWare Cloud. So let's get started here. In today's webinar, we're going to cover the per persistent problem of paper, digital workflow for humans, becoming an agile leader, how DocuWare can help, uh, product presentation, and then a wrap up and question and answer. But first I'd like to take a quick poll to find out what is your organization's use of cloud software. So I'll give you a minute to go ahead and select your choice and how your organization is using or planning to use cloud software. Okay, thank you very much for taking that poll. Um, as I can see, the majority of you are uh, using cloud software in some departments, applications with plans to expand. Um, <clears throat> and then we're tied for nothing yet, but evaluating use case opportunities and don't use it at all and not on our IT roadmap. So let's go ahead and see if we can change some of those um, people that are deciding, have not decided to go with cloud and maybe help the people that are looking at uh, different opportunities for cloud. <clears throat> Papers everywhere, files and information are all over the network and local PCs and different applications in different formats. It's annoying, it's a risk, it's messy and unorganized. It's time consuming to file and retrieve. These are the results from studies that were done. Each lost paper document costs approximately $700 and $125 for a simple misfiled document. And 70% of today's business world would experience a total failure from a catastrophic paper loss. Are your enterprise printers secure? It was found that 98% are unsecure and open to hacking. So we saw paper, didn't we? Well, sort of. The world is increasingly, but not completely digital. But we're still left with documents, and documents aren't really the problem. They're just containers, packages for information. These tools you see are valuable, but they perpetuate the basic problem. Stuff gets shuffled and then left in a stack. Even if that stack is digital, it's PDF documents, Word documents, spreadsheets, email, health records, forms, applications, and other things swirl through our business processes. And this gets to the heart of the problem. The real pain of modern business is not documents. The real pain is manual processes. Manual processes are, by definition, not optimized for what a business needs. They're slow, prone to error, cause bottlenecks, remain nearly impossible to analyze, so exceptionally difficult to improve. We spent years and untold amounts of money digitizing information. How do we take advantage of that? How do we get past the manual labor intensive shuffle? How do we drive intelligence and real efficiency into our business? The answer is simple, digital workflow and automation. More specifically, it's optimizing a business process using modern technology intelligent indexing, mobile capture and access, always on cloud access, ultra tight security profiles, 
but how do they get there? And what are the benefits achieved along that journey? Let's take a, a step back and examine the journey to becoming a digital business. We'll examine each phase and highlight the significant business benefits that come with each step forward. Let's take a look at the journey of digital automation from a manual laggard to an agile leader. The manual laggards are still using paper, but as they become more progressive, they realize the hard cost savings of digital digitized documents. They then see the advantages of managing documents with intelligent indexing and searching, which improves compliance and customer service, and that being paperless is a viable model. With the configurable workflow, time, efficiency, insight to improve, an agile leader experiences process automation and touchless workflow and will achieve an optimal knowledge working ratio. Bottom line dollars are reinvested in top line growth and happier staff. When you start as a manual laggard, you move through digital progressive to become an agile leader. This is the goal of the modern business. Heck, even inside DocuWare, we're getting better at this all the time. So what's the secret? Well, I can tell you in our own experience, it is definitely not a stack of complex technology. It's not a three-year roadmap, and it's not even a heap of a new budget. Becoming a digital fat first agile leader means simply putting the user first. Digital workflow and automation are near useless when the tools are complex and slow down, slow processes down. We found that the smartest digital process meet full potential when they embrace six key qualities. Fast for maximum time savings, effortless to maintain distractions, secure so people don't worry about leaks, reliable so it can be trusted in times of high pressure, repeatable for consistent value, flexible so it can be further optimized. Combine that with always on cloud access and full mobile compliant complement and you can move forward on your journey to become an agile leader. Today and in the future, agile, agility, agility translates to competitive edge. Don't take my word for it. Here's Jeff Bezos, founder of Amazon.com. In today's era of volatility, there is no other way but to reinvent. The only sustainable advantage you can have over others is agility, and that's it. So how does DocuWare help you become an agile leader? DocuWare for real businesses, instant retrieval, configurable workflows to drive results, mobile access for remote staff. We support business processes without complexity. DocuWare is easy to use, allowing greater productivity and accuracy. Today, we're going to show you just a glimpse of the many uses for DocuWare. But first, here are some of the companies using DocuWare, and as you can see, they are in all different industries and in different sizes. So whether you're a small business or a huge international corporation, DocuWare can be used by any size company. Now, before we start our live presentation with DocuWare, if you have to find all the information about a customer, a project, or transaction, this can be done with a single search and just a few clicks of the mouse by searching for the project, I can easily find the request email, proposal, order from, from the customer, and the invoice that was sent out. And not just you, all your colleagues can too, provided they have the authorization. Just as important and central to our conversation today is DocuWare Cloud. DocuWare is a full document management deployed through the cloud. The cloud assembly accessible and configurable right from the browser. In fact, DocuWare Cloud enjoys full feature parity with, no with on-premise technology. 
No sacrifices in functionality, no drop in usability. With DocuWare Cloud, you enjoy all of the benefits of modern cloud technology, fast global availability, top tier security access from any device. Finally, DocuWare Cloud is built on Microsoft Azure backbone with multiple data centers for near infinite computation and storage scalability. So now as I start the live presentation, we're gonna show you how DocuWare can help you manage all of your documents, not just paper, but email, Word documents, drawings, and accounting records. So what you're seeing on your screen right now is the DocuWare interface. The DocuWare interface is totally web-based, whether it's an on-premise system or a cloud system. Over here on the left, we have a document tray. The document tray is where you bring files in to work on them before you ultimately store them in the file cabinet. You can bring them in by dragging and dropping from your computer. You can click on the import button and go out and browse for them yourself. Or you can use a multifunction device or desktop scanner to scan them in. If you want to look at a document, you simply double click and DocuWare will open it up in the viewer. Once it's in the viewer, you have the ability to print, fax, email, change the um, zoom or rotation of them, apply stamps for various applications, and put annotations such as text or redaction on the document. If you want to redact, you can select a specific color and redact specific information. You can save that. I'm just gonna go ahead and close it down and not save it. Now, let's say all of those documents that we just brought into our tray belong to one transaction. Well, we can hold our control key down and select them in the order that we want and try not to make a copy of them. Um, let's try that again. And then you can right mouse click and clip them together. Now we have one document that will ultimately be stored in our filing cabinet. To do that, we simply select our filing cabinet store button, select our filing cabinet. Now, DocuWare has numerous ways of automating the indexing of documents. But if you have to do it manually, DocuWare makes it very easy simply by selecting the information on the document and we'll drop it into the index field. We also have the ability to use a select list. So we'll just call this uh, a letter N because it's multiple types of documents. Um, but this particular document does have a document number. So we'll put in our document number. Um, we have an order number. We also have a date. Let's, and it doesn't matter what format the date is, DocuWare is gonna transpose it to the current system date. So that's all the information that we want to apply to this document. So we'll click on store. Now the document is stored in the file cabinet and is available to any user that has access to it. So we can go back and search for that document. So let's go ahead and search for Flying Tom. Now we could select it from our list or we can simply start typing and it will give, a, give us a list. Now, if that's all we put in there, we can click on search and we'll get that one document back. If we had multiple documents, then we would um, maybe put in more information. So let's go ahead and search for a different document. Let's say it's Flying Tom Germany. Click on search. You can see we have multiple documents. Well, we only want to see the letter N. So let's go out here and select our document type of letter N. Then we click on search and there is our document. Double click on it, we can open it up. Let's go back and, and get our document that we just stored. So we'll just type in Flying Tom. Click on search, there's our document, we open it up. And we can look at the different pages. So this happens to be a PDF. We can go to the next one. This is an Excel file. And we can see right down here what type of file it is. This is a text file. This is a JPEG. And finally, a Word doc. We can also look at a thumbnail view of all the different pages and go to a specific page if we want. So now we're gonna start a little uh, process. It's gonna involve a little bit of employee onboarding, and it's also going to involve a new employee taking a, a business trip and filing an expense report. So we're gonna be switching um, to
to different users as we go through this, but we're gonna start off in the HR department. Here in the HR department, he has received an email that has an attachment. Um, it's a letter for a, a re with a resume. He wants to go ahead and store that in DocuWare and have it actually enter a workflow. So let's go ahead and open back up Outlook. Didn't mean to shut that down. So we'll open up Outlook and we'll go ahead and store that email in DocuWare and have it enter a workflow for an employee onboarding. So he's just gonna right mouse click on it, gonna click on store in DocuWare and he's gonna select the employees. What this is going to do, and we can scroll down to get the name of it. What this is going to do is it'll open up the DocuWare store dialog where we can select a department that this person is applying for. We're gonna put in his last name Let's, and we're gonna put in his first name. So we have all that information. We're gonna go ahead and click on store. The document is now stored in our DocuWare filing cabinet as an email with the attachment and it's an enter to workflow. So if we bring up DocuWare, we'll see here that we have a document in our workflow. Now our first task in this workflow review the um, the application and assign a date for an interview. So we're gonna select the 25th and we're gonna click on confirm. So the document has now been entered into a workflow and we're triggering an email to the applicant telling them that they have been invited to attend an interview on the 25th. So let's go over to that particular user. Now, this is his personal email address. He's not an employee of the company yet. So we're just gonna look at his email. And we'll just do a quick send and receive. And here is the email. It says that we would like to invite you to come in on the 25th. So he's going to go ahead and appear at that date and time. And we'll switch back over to the HR manager who is involved in the interview process with this particular person. And they have determined that Yes, they want to hire this gentleman. So they're just gonna click on confirm. And now what's happened, if we go back over to that user, to the, to the applicant, is he has received an email in his personal email with a, of a document that has a hyperlink in it. And in this hyperlink is a link to an onboarding form. So he'll go ahead and sign in as a guest within this account, and he'll fill out the onboarding form. So he's gonna enter his first name, Jay Strom, and his date of birth, his social security number, His address, city, state, his home phone number, and his email. And then he just says, I'm a male and I'm a US citizen and he signs it, clicks on submit. So that form has now been submitted and it goes back to our HR manager. So we can go ahead and get rid of these and let's go back over to the HR manager and see what has happened by the applicant submitting that form. He has received an email or he received an email, but he's also in his, um, DocuWare web client, he's received the form. And here's the form. He just looks through to page three where the information is entered. And there's the information that the gentleman entered when he went to the DocuWare form. All, he has, all the HR manager has to do is select 
which department he's going to be placed in, his starting date, and we're going to put that as May 1st, and he's going to get 10 days of vacation per year. So click on Confirm. Now that he has been hired, if we switch back over to our new employee, he has received another email saying, welcome aboard. And now he's starting to, he comes into work on May 1st and he's starting to plan his first trip. So he has taken his trip and he's going to submit his first expense report. This time he's going to log in as a DocuWare account. And he logs in and it takes him to an expense report form. He's going to enter his name. And the date of the trip was from May 8th to May 12th. And he works in the sales department, and the expense amount was 234.12, and he has to attach his expense document. So here's his expense report, and here's the supporting documentation. Clicks on Open, and he clicks on Submit. Now, since he is now working for the sales manager, that document has to be approved by his supervisor, his manager. So his manager happens to be on the road. So he's using his mobile device. So I'm just going to move a my mobile device over here. And you can see he has an expense form there. It's going to open it up. And he can go through the different pages. He can zoom in on this and see, okay, he submitted 234.12. These are the reports that should be attached to this. So let's just go to the next one. Yep, there's 72.60. Uh, there's another 7260, and this is his expense report. Let's go to the next page. This is uh, 8892. So let's go back here to the previous page, and he's got the total amount of 234.12. Everything looks good. He's going to approve it. He clicks on approve, and he's done. That document has now been approved by the manager. It will drop out of his list momentarily, and it is on its way to the accounting department to pay. So let's go ahead over to our accounting department, where she has received an email indicating that the, an expense report has been submitted for one of the employees. So she gets the email, she opens it up, and in here is a link to that document. She clicks on the link. It opens up the document. She logs in. There's the document. She can do the same thing. She can look at the amount. She can go through and look at the different pages. Everything looks good. She's going to say, I'm going to pay the amount that's on here. So she just goes down here and highlights this amount, 234.12, and clicks on Confirm, and the document is now paid. And if we go back to our employee, he will have received an email notification telling him that his expense report has, in fact, been paid. So let's go over here to his Outlook, Send and Receive, and there. Your expenses have been paid and submitted into your account. So, And that ends the process. That is the life of a company hiring a new employee, the employee taking a, a business trip and submitting his expense reports. All very easy. There was no paper handled. Uh, the only paper documentation that was, was um, administered was the employee submitting his expense documents, having to scan those. Other than that, everything was electronic. There was no shuffling of paper whatsoever. So let's go ahead and continue our um, PowerPoint. So let's recap what we've covered. DocuWare will improve business processes by making them transparent to your users. 
increase employee efficiency and keep your information secure with the benefits of removing paper, secure your information with faster accessibility to authorized employees, digitizing key workflows to eliminate bottlenecks in business processes, and leveraging cloud for easy installation and accessing all your documents anytime from any mobile device. We have found that even within one company or organization, the field of application is very broad. It often starts out in the accounts department, in sales, or in human resources, but it also has many uses in the more technical areas of a business. Once DocuWare has been introduced into one department, it soon spreads to other departments until the whole company is using it. And this is just an overview of how other companies are using document management. DocuWare is proud of the over 16,000 companies using our products to help them be an agile leader. Being available in 16 languages, DocuWare is extremely user-friendly for any company in the more than 70 different countries where it's used. Now I'll give you a moment to type in any questions that come to mind into the GoToWebinar question box. And also, um, to read about how DocuWare Cloud is being used at Rawlings Sporting Goods, don't forget to download the DocuWare case study in the GoToWebinar question box. And I can see I have some questions already coming up here. Let's just take a look at these. Let's close that down. Uh, the attachment you uploaded appeared to be in different types, not just a letter. Are you able to upload multiple documents and attach them as one file, but still have them separate? For example, we have contracts that have exhibits A, B, et cetera, and other attachments. Essentially, this is all part of one contract, but we would like to see them as separate tab, separate tab when I pull up the contract. Is this something that can, DocuWare can do? Uh, yes, uh, we would just have to have, instead of having them all as one attachment, you could have multiple attachments there, and then they would be put in as different different documents. Or you could have them as one document. Um, what other HR benefits does DocuWare provide? Well, what one of the main things we use it for here is expense reporting. Um, also, we have the ability to for onboarding to make sure all your documents are available. Um, so we have what what is referred to as an it's an add-on module. It's called Deficiency Manager. Um, if you different states have requirements for different documents, as the documents are being put in for an individual employee. A dashboard can be created to tell you uh, what documents are missing and what documents are present. Um, once a, all documents are there, you can flag them as being complete. Um, there's so there's just so many different applications. The workflow, um, ex, expenses, um, vacation time tracking. As you submit a vacation um, request, it can be tracked. There's just if you think about it. We can we can put it together. It's basically DocuWare is extremely flexible in HR as well as any other um, department within an organization. Any other questions? Okay, if there's no further questions, I want to thank you for attending the webinar. And again, don't forget to um, download the uh, case study on Rawlings Sporting Goods. I'll leave this open for another minute so I'll give you a chance to, to do that. Um, and someone from DocuWare will be in touch with you within the next few days or the partner that referred you to this webinar. Again, thank you very much.